Okay, today we are going to be sorting out some switch gear. I'm actually replacing my left hand switch gear, which is this one, which is slightly knackered and makes the horn beep every time my indicator is switched, with this one I picked up off of, uh, eBay for 30 quid. The only thing I need to do is obviously reuse this connector and most importantly, figure out all of these switches, which one of these cables go into this here, which brings me on to my diagram. So I've spent a bit of time and I've figured out what each of these connectors do on this side. And you can see here we have these two on either side there and there I actually used to do my side lights. And because I'm gonna have those side lights on permanently, I need to hardwire those two to always be connected. My indicators left and right are there with a common uh, ground, which is this one here. And the same kind of thing is true with my headlights. That's the common ground for the headlights. May, uh, dipped beam, main beam, and my two horn connectors. Now this would have been rather easy normally, except for each one of these switches on my new setup is a, is a pair. So I'm gonna have to solder these common connections across so that I can have the common for the indicators and a common for the lights because I'm actually going to be doing a join here. So my main, uh, my side lights are always on and my main lights are always on. So that's going to be what these little two bridge lines are all about. Which means I want to have three wires going into this point here. Now we don't want to have three wires doing that. So I need to make some soldering joins within my main switch body here. So I only have at worst, two wires going into here because one's a simple join. So that's what we've been doing now, and we're going to get started. Now, the main thing is once I take this off, you'll see that the quality isn't fantastic, and that join isn't quite work because of this point here. And what we also have. is a need just to kind of retake off all of this. Remove this heat shrink and resolder. So that's what we're gonna be doing.
the end product. The new old fitting is put on there. The switches all work. I've gone outside and tested it on the bike. These are ever so slightly uh, differently aligned than the Ruse one, so the connection's actually a bit of a bugger to get on. Once it's on, I'm going to put on some weatherproofing there to cover up that, but I want to leave that free just in case I have to jiggle anything. This is actually the first part of the work that I'm doing to convert my monster into a cafe racer. So this is going to be the handlebar switch for the clutch side. I've got a new one coming for the uh, accelerator side, the throttle side rather. And that will give me a nice brushed aluminium look at the handlebars. I'm actually going to put the clipper on. But this is the first pass and I'm actually very pleased with this. It took a little bit longer than expected, but the end result looks quite pleasant and it does work, which is fantastic. Okay, thanks very much.